folks, this quick video today is going to show how to use Pactware to uh, look at some I.O. on a BL20 economy slice from Turk. So uh, I've already installed Pactware on my computer, and I'm going to go ahead and see if I can connect to a BL20 node I have sitting next to me. So over here, I'll just start File New, so you can see Brand New. And where it says Host PC, I'll right-click and I'll do Add Device. Since I'm going to be talking to the BL20 slice over Ethernet, I'm going to select the Ethernet uh, protocol here, if you will, and click the OK button. So you can see right here that my default IP address comes up as uh, 192.168.1.125. That is the IP address of my PC. So I'm going to go ahead and double-click on this guy. And you're going to see here that I'm going to be using my local connection. So if I hit the eyeballs right here. Now notice what it did here. It went out and found the BL20 node. But it says no matching ID. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that again. And for some odd reason when I do it the second time, it comes in and matches with the correct online ID. Which matches the DTM file that's here. So if I want to show this whole node on the system, this button right here will add this whole system to my rack. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. It's going to ask me a few questions here. And say, hey, do you want to add the DTMs? I'll say, OK. And you're going to see over here on the left-hand side that it built my system. So here's what my node, whoops, let me double-click on this, and we'll show you a picture of what my node looks like. There it is right there. And if I want to go online with this guy, uh, you can do a couple things. But over here, if I right-click on this, the I.O. slice, I can go to connect. And then I can right-click on this, and I can go to, for instance, measured value. And you can see that uh, I got, currently this has got an 8-channel analog input card here. Inputs uh, 1 through 7 here. You can see on channel number 2 that uh, I've got an analog value coming in. So, uh, let's see here. So I've got currently, uh, you can see I'm using channel 2. I was playing with this earlier. And you can see it's got 8.44 milliamps coming into that channel. Now this card that I'm using is the BL20-8, I'm sorry, BL20-E-8AI-U-I-4PT. So it's kind of a cool card because each channel could be an analog or voltage input or you can take uh, two of the channels and be a thermocouple or a PT series uh, uh, analog input as well. I want to show you something though here, guys. Over here on the left, if I right click on this particular card and go to parameter, and since I'm online, I can go to online parameterization. And you can see here that channel two, I currently have it set up as a 0 to 20 milliamp. The default setting of this thing is plus minus 10 volt. So if you hit the pole down here, you can actually change the settings for each particular I.O. channel. I'm going to leave this one set to 0 to 20 milliamps. And I also want to point out to you that you notice that the data format is 15 bit. So that means, I don't know about the sign part, but in this case I'm not going to go sign because it's all positive, but uh, it's going to go between 0 to 32,767 over the span of that 0 to 20 milliamp value. So uh, this is set up here, and Pactware is a great tool to use to interact with things. If I wanted to change one of these other channels, let me show you something here. If I hit the pull down here, and let's say I select this channel, and I want this other channel to be a 4 to 20 milliamp input, I can click right here. And notice the pencil mark right here. Since I've made this change, I'm going to go ahead and hit the Apply button here. It's going to ask you, do you want to download this? I'm going to say yes. Go ahead. And then it kicks it to force mode. But now, that particular channel has been configured. And if I cycle power to this thing or so forth, it's going to keep these settings in that particular uh, card, which is pretty nice. So I'll say yes to that as well. And you can see that I don't currently have anything plugged into that particular channel right now. But uh, nonetheless, we're going to focus on uh, channel number two. One more thing I want to show you that I'm in Pactware here is a very important thing. Is how can you find out where the data is mapped to? Particularly if you're using Modbus to talk to this guy. Uh, 
over here on the left, if I right click on the particular node and come down here to additional functions, uh, you know what I'm going to do here? Let me go log off, guys. Let me go offline here. I'll go disconnect. Yeah. Oh, this is where I meant to click. On this particular node right here, click on the node and then come down here to additional functions. And you can go to, well, you can do two things. One, verify station. We'll run a check to make sure that that node is uh, valid. What happens when it comes back here? You can see there's no particular errors here. Uh, the error down here. Let's see if this happens. Second, that's only it's bigger. And maybe I won't. Whoops. All right, so it, it verifies correctly there. I'm going to go ahead and close that little window by doing that. And then, if you want to look at the mapping. You can right click on this node again and you can go to additional functions and go over here to station report. And in this case, you can tell it to show you everything if you want to, or you can only pick the particular things you want to look for. And I'm only looking for mapping in this case. So I'm looking for basically the field bus report here. So I'm going to go ahead and click the apply button. And it's actually going to create a PDF file right here. So if I look at well, it gives you both the Ethernet IP mapping and the Modbus. And I'm looking for the Modbus. I know it's really small. I'm going to make it a little bigger, uh, like so. Do this. Slide this over a little bit. If you look down here, this is slot 0, which is the gateway. And notice slot 1 is that only that analog input card I have. If I keep sliding down here, it's eventually going to show me the IO map data for that particular card. And I want to point out to you, that you can see these are the eight analog input channels on that card which are going to go from Modbus holding register 40,001 these all start at zero but when you go to red line product you add one to these numbers so this is 40,001 to basically 40,010 for all this information and this node does not have any output stuff so if I keep going down here to the output data you'll see there is uh, there's no words for the output data because there is no outputs in the slice. Everything is inputs. So that's pretty nice. Just keep that in mind that this card, all the analog I.O. is going to map from 40,001 to 40,010. So I like to use this when I'm uh, building nodes in Pactware. I like the software because it lets me build a node correctly and put it together correctly with no mistakes. So that's a quick video on how to use Pactware to interact with your BL20 I.O. Thanks. Have a great day.